In this video, I'm gonna break down how I created this 3D kind of line art, NPC beat making animation using Feather 3D and Blender. So I've seen Feather 3D kind of floating around the internet over the last several months and I wanted to give it a try. I downloaded it on the Chrome web version that they have that you can use on a computer or on an Android tablet or they have an iOS version as well. And they recently just announced about two days ago that they're gonna be getting rid of the web version for a while and focusing strictly on the iOS version. So I'm gonna do some more experimentation and see how I can kind of recreate this process using grease pencil and blender. I'm pretty sure it can be done. I just haven't really done it before. But the reason why I do like Feather 3D is because of the minimalistic interface. It's very simple to use and it's real intuitive. So here I am, I'm just going over the model. I created this model a couple years ago in Blender of an NPC, which you make beats on. And I just imported that as an OBJ. And then I started going over the geometry more so just the outlines because I wanted like a sketchy look to it. So here you can just literally draw on top of the 3D model itself and the lines will show up, similar like you would do with grease pencil and blender. Then the next thing I did was I created um, some poses in Character Creator and exported that into blender. And I took out all of the geometry except for the arms and the hands. And then I imported that into Feather 3D as an OBJ as well. So I wanted like a sketchy look to the whole process, to the whole look and feel of the animation. So here I'm going over the hands and the arms uh, with different lines, with different angles to give it some 3D depth so that you can tell what it is from every angle. But I also wanted it to look like freehand and kind of just a unique look to it, right? So here I'm just doing both hands, going through the whole process, um, doubling up some lines, adding some scribbles, adding some depth to it. And then I went from there. So I exported it out um, into Blender. You can export as an OBJ. You see, I just dropped that in. And you can see now I can manipulate the geometry. So I can change the color if I wanted to. I added a plane for the background. And then the next thing I did was I rigged it. So I wasn't sure if this was gonna work or not. It was more of like a proof of concept type situation, but it ended up working. So basically all I did was created an armature bone and started to extend those out to mimic the bones that would be in the hand. And then I just rigged it with automatic weights to the geometry and it ended up working pretty well. I didn't have to do any weight painting or anything like that. If uh, the geometry was a little bit more complex, I might've had to do some weight painting, but for the most part, it was just a simple click, automatic weights and it worked just fine. So here I am, I'm just going through and I wanted to just do a basic animation. I wasn't trying to do anything too complex with this as I was just trying to figure it out and see if it works right. So it did work right. I'm going through adding some keyframes and duplicating those keyframes, adding some easing um, and just manipulating the, the two arms that I have drawn on there so that it looks like they're tapping on the pads of the drum machine. So the final thing that I did was I just created an empty, I kind of put it in the middle of the NPC there as a focal point. So I had the camera tracking to that and then I just animated the camera. I'm experimenting with some different angles right here, but I ended up just kind of going in, going up and then coming back out in the final animation. But that's what I'm doing here. I'm just going through experimenting, seeing what each angle looks like, seeing what the renders look like and getting my background and lighting right. So that was pretty much it. Um, so here's the animation and what it looks like in real time. Thanks for watching.